Good. I'm Dr. Thompson Akwantuba, the Chief Editor of Health and Development Magazine, and we are at the Convention Center downtown San Antonio, Gonzalez B, and I'm with these beautifully dressed people in costumes, and you can see how gorgeous their costumes look from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Uh, what are your names? My name is Sid. And? I'm JD. And why are you dressed in this costume? What does the, what does the costume signify? Let's begin with you, the lady. Well, I like the character a lot, so I just dress up as her. Uh, who is the character? Uh, Ari from the Really? Is it an, in, in some anime movie or anime film? It's a game. It's a video game. Okay. Uh, what do the people who play the video game, what do they benefit from it? Honestly, it's a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh really? So why did you call it a waste of time? <laughs> oh my god, it's such a waste of time. You waste literally a game, it's like 30 minutes each. Oh. 30 to 60 minutes. Oh my god, it's a hassle. <laughs> yeah, because I thought that a lot, lots of games are there to help people improve on their certain aspects of life, whether it's writing, like scramble, you know, or right. games are just there to teach you something, even though some people just play it for fun. So that's what I was thinking. So what is it about Japanese culture that you guys like? Uh, yeah. I like the way that uh, we make friends. I don't yeah. like nowhere. It's like, hey, I like your costume. And it's like, hey, I like your costume. And then, yeah, oh. you sort of You're automatically friends. Yeah. Oh, really? You keep in touch. Do you do you eat uh, Japan food? Yes. Like what 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 Japanese meals do you like? Uh, all of them. I lived in Japan for a year, so uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you worked in Japan for a year? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, what did you like when you went there? What 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 was it about the Japanese people? Were they are they friendly or? They're very friendly. They're surprisingly. Clean. They're very clean. They're very, clean. Uh, they're very quick and organized. Oh really? And they don't waste time on anything. Yeah. Really? Uh, so what were you doing in Japan? Mission, teaching, what I was, was uh, I was a jet, so I was teaching English and learning Japanese. Oh really? So what, how, how, what, how do they say welcome in Japanese? Uh, a lot of different ways. Um, I think the best one is probably Gita Shai. Uh -huh. First time I say it, you know, just kind of like, welcome, please come in. Or, so. Oh really? So what is it about the Japanese culture? Because you know there are some cultures where there's a lot of respect and relationship between the younger people, young adults and the adults. Uh, relatively in America, it's, a, it's more of a very free uh, society and so I can call you Jane and you are supposed to be 100 years old and you're my grandma. <laughs> but some places you want to say, oh, Grandma Jane and Auntie. So what those, you know, family interrelationships and discipline, respect, what, yeah. what were your experiences? Um, they have a very defined system of uh, who you can talk to a certain way and who you can't. And so like kids speak a different way than teenagers and adults do, and then older people also speak a totally different way. So like, there's a lot of honorifics that go on. Uh, finally, what would you say to young people who are trying to learn uh, the Japanese culture? What is it that they, they should look for to benefit from? It's so much fun if you actually want to do it, go ahead. Oh. Really? Uh, 